Hello chaps, how are we all doing today? It's a lovely day. The sun is out again, so it's nice. Why not? That's nice. Um, final reveal today, yes, of two fabulous kits. Fabulous kits indeed. First kit is this one here. Okay, it's the uh, IBG um, models. Bedford QLR wireless. Yeah, wireless truck. 135th scale. Yeah, 135th scale. And the second kit, I suppose you could call it a kit, it's uh, surplus models, okay, uh, Simon Kemp's company, company, <laughs> but Simon Kemp's uh, surplus models and it's a diorama in a box, okay, um, absolutely fabulous, absolutely fabulous, go out and get it, uh, links in the description box on how to get your hands on these, um, and he does quite a lot, a big range of stuff within the, uh, the surplus things, um, he does the bricks, separately if you know what I mean he doesn't sell each individual brick separately but he does uh, packets of bricks wall sections coping sections uh, cobblestones uh, he does them in 135th scale and he does them in 116th scale as well I've noticed yes he does them in 116th scale as well so there'll be a link below in the description box to the uh, the surplus page it's on uh, Facebook so you can get over to that and each item then has its link onto YouTube or not YouTube but uh, eBay so you can purchase them all on eBay and I do recommend you go and, you go and get them uh, it's a way of you know helping out one of our own as well yep so uh, Simon is a fabulous modeler and we all like his channel and all his stuff and he does great stuff so uh, without further ado let's get on to the bench and we'll have the final reveal of this uh, this, this dial that I've been working on for uh, about a month now yeah it's taken about a month just for getting little pieces together and everything else and uh, very very enjoyable really really enjoyed making this okay so let's get on to the bench and we'll have a look at it right there we go there it is that's our uh, bedford qlr wireless truck and our uh, diorama bills um, or surplus models should i say uh, diorama in a box yep dio in a box um can't really get it all in because uh, we've got another little Oh, very little thing here. I do apologise about the backdrop. It'd be nice to have a nice kind of a backdrop. I don't have a photo booth or anything like that, but uh, it is what it is, and you get what you get <laughs> when you come on to, to, to my channel. Um, everything is kind of quite basic, but I'm really, really chuffed with how this uh, this whole the project came together. Okay, so we start. We go from left to right, shall we say? Okay, we've got our three chaps here on patrol. They are the uh, Tamiya figures. I know I said I didn't want to use the Tamiya figures, but I did anyway. And we've got our three chaps here. And they're uh, on patrol. We've got our um, cobblestones. Wait for that motorbike to pass. Noisy bloody kids. I think they'd put a freaking exhaust pipe on it. But uh, we've got our, our cobblestones with, um, you know, manhole, shore hole, whatever you want to call it. We've got our uh, telegraph poles here. Yes, the telegraph poles, they go all the way up, yep. Um, wire them up and all with, uh, with with some thread. Yes, I just used thread for them, so that the uh, the sag looks a bit more natural. And we've even got a little birdie. Yep, a little birdie up at the top there. Come on, there we go, a little birdie up on the top, and you can see the... Uh, the Poles there on the tops of the poles. Okay. Um, on the hangout last night, Bob Smith was asking me about the colour of these. He said that in America they're either sort of blue tinted or they're made of glass. Well, over in Europe they're uh, ceramic and they're usually either white or cream. Okay. So that's those yokes. Uh, we'll bring the camera back down again. There we go. We've got our two officers here. You can tell by their officers because they got the brown shoes on. <laughs> Okay, we got one chap smoking a cigarette, looking in. Another chap here with his walking stick. Okay, on the back here, we've got a chap handing in a bottle of wine to the chaps inside. We'll top, take the top off now in a second, we'll have a look at the inside of that, because there's more work on the inside of it. Uh, this is an absolutely fabulous kit from IBG. It really, really is. It's, it's brilliant. It goes together excellently. Um, no problems, no fit issues, nothing like that at all. Um, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful um, kit. 
definitely recommend it for you to go off and uh, get those IBG trucks. They are absolutely fabulous. They're made in Poland, and they're they're very very good and very very reasonably priced as well. Very very reasonably priced. Okay. Now I didn't fit down the top of this purely because. Oh wait for that to. Yeah, I made it quite busy inside. Okay. Let me move the camera in again. Okay. So we've got two chaps there at the back having a rest. He's, he's, our, he's our worker guy. He's the guy now that fits up all these yokes and things like that. So he's having a rest after connecting up the truck to the telephone wires. Here's our telephone operator with his arm up on the, uh, the, the PABX telephone exchange thing. All right, we've got this, the uh, officer's desk. And the officer is standing up at the moment and he's uh, on the microphone, okay? chatting away inside with the lads um, what doesn't come with the inside of that right well what does come we start off with what does come with it we get our two radios those two radios and we have uh, that PABX uh, telephone exchange thing so I've added say two boxes here for him to sit on um, I've added the helmet some maps a cup uh, a set of binoculars and a water bottle in there a bottle of water um, the headphones, yes, Alex Hendry sent me on those, all the way from Scotland. Um, you know, from a bit of wire and a little bit of styrene, beautiful thing, and some uh, rubber hose. Um, so, and there's another little boxy thing that I found, and I said, ah, oh, that'll do grand up there for an ex so, sure, why not, just to fill it up. So that's the inside of that. Also, I didn't fit the cab. Okay, the cab is removable. The reason the cab is removable because you get a lovely engine. Yeah, you get a lovely engine in there, and now you can see the engine. So I left the cab off. Well, I didn't leave it off. I left it that it can be taken off. There we go. And you can see the fit in there. That fits on perfectly and straight. Um, absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful indeed. So, um, like I said, I want to leave a, a link in the description box to the. Um, surplus selling page on Facebook so you can uh, go out and check out the uh, dio in a box and other uh, products from them okay um, as you can see here this has got the walls and the pillars the footpath and around the back here we just got a little bit of grass yes a little bit of grass and sort of a nice clean wall somebody's somebody's back garden or front garden whatever okay now you, like I said what comes in that box you can do quite a lot with it and if I just push this back a bit okay make a bit of space a little bit of space John trying not to damage anything here's the box and we'll get to look at what's left okay what's left after making that you still have lots of little bits and pieces left over okay so you've got some more um, curb stones things okay I'm left with loads of curb stones I've got some um, it says cobblestones I just put them into that bag we got some more pillar sections okay we've got loads of frog bricks which I didn't use at all so there's 500 of them okay so just in case you want to do say just a, a damaged piece of the wall you could use these frog bricks for that you can use them for rubble and you could even build a little wall with them okay so there's all those left over I used all the cobblestones, by the way. I did use all the cobblestones. Okay, we've got some more uh, pier caps. Although these weren't in that kit, actually. Simon sent me those separate. I just took, took them into the box. Um, we've got some more pillars that I didn't use. We've got a couple of wall sections that I haven't used. Um, we've got some uh, paving slabs. And... Another um, manhole cover or uh, drain. One. Okay, I didn't use that one. I used the uh, rectangular one. I didn't use the square one. So, you, I mean, you've got quite a, uh, an option of you know what you want to do with the dial, and loads of bits left over for future projects and, and things like that. And you know, you can really make half a house with it. You don't have to build that. You could build say a front of a building. And um, 
happens when the building sort of, uh, you know, have it a bit damaged and things, because all the pieces are there for that. So, there we go, that's another look at the box, okay. Surplus Diorama Building Materials in 1 35th scale. So Surplus is the name of the company. Um, from Simon Kemp's models and 1 35th scale Diorama builds. So excellent work there, Simon. I must just, I must say he's doing fabulous stuff there. And he's starting to uh, bring some stuff out in 1 16th scale as well. I think he's got some 1 24th scale stuff as well. Not 100% sure. But like I said, check out the link in the description box below and uh, you get to see what he has available so that's it for this um, final reveal there'll be uh, photographs at the end a couple of still pictures of different parts of it and um, just in case I, I kind of went a bit too fast for you okay so you don't have to go pausing and looking at bit different bits I, I point out some photographs and beats to get an old photo uh, montage montage at the end of it so thank you very much for taking your time out to watch this today um hope you all have a night having a nice weekend um enjoy your building i know it's not really the weather for building for some people uh it's a bit warm and clammy and you know with the sun out last thing you want to be doing is stuck inside in a little hole putting bits of plastic together but it'll give you some ideas for what you want to get for the future okay so that's it like i said for this one we'll catch you on the next one don't forget to watch the bum on monday where we look at this and we look at the um the, the uh t54a that i did uh, did the final reveal of that there yesterday so got more to say rather than uh, other than other blah, 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 bit of verbal diarrhea there nothing more to say other than don't forget go out and buy yourself a kit build it and enjoy it and uh don't forget some photographs coming next.